Right now at 5.30, the I-Team getting results. Two contractor brothers charged with fraud after they're accused of taking money and not finishing jobs. Tonight, they're in jail. And the state attorney's office says they scammed dozens of people in several northeast Florida counties. There are 43 victims we've identified in count one. And in that count, what we identified was folks who had suffered damage, a lot of them, over the two uh, hurricanes that, that occurred in 2016 and 2017. In this I-Team follow-up, two Jacksonville-based roofing contractors are facing fraud charges, accused of collecting hundreds of thousands of dollars in deposits from homeowners but never returning to do the work. State attorneys charged brothers Adolph and John Carlson with running an organized scheme to defraud. I spoke with local victims still recovering from their losses. Dedicated to getting results, the I-Team. I'm glad that they were arrested because of what they did to the community. Patricia Tosh turned over a check for $16,000 to Carlson Enterprises after Hurricane Irma in 2017 to repair the roof of the Orange Park Kindergarten. That was the last time she heard from brothers Adolph and John Carlson, who operate Carlson Enterprises. Both are charged with running an organized scheme to defraud, and both are being held in jail. I thought they should have been arrested a long time ago. Uh, I know that you know, it takes a long time to do your investigation and, and to look everything up, but to me, the evidence was so much. I don't know what took so long. There are 43 victims we've identified in count one, and in that count, what we identified was folks who had suffered damage, a lot of them, over the two uh, hurricanes that, that occurred in 2016 and 2017. In Daytona Beach this morning, 7th Circuit State Attorney R.J. Larizza announced the results of an investigation he calls Operation Hurricane Hustle. It involved customers in Volusia, Flagler, and St. John's counties. A Jacksonville judge froze the company's assets last April, but prosecutors say by that point, the company had already taken in nearly half a million dollars. Carlson Enterprises was previously investigated by our office's Consumer Protection Division, after we learned they were scamming vulnerable Floridians by taking money pro for promised roofing repairs and never showing back up to do work. In the same time frame as the state investigation, the Better Business Bureau processed more than 100 complaints involving Carlson Enterprises. Nearly 30 of those came from Duval, Clay, St. John's, and Nassau counties. Authorities say the Carlsons used their customers' money to fund airline tickets, lavish trips, and expensive clothes like Louis Vuitton purses. They can't take advantage of us like that and expect nothing to happen. You know, people put their faith in them. People trusted them to do what they said they were going to do. They didn't do it. State attorneys in Daytona Beach say the Carlsons collected more than $455,000 from residents in Volusia and Flagler counties and never did any work. Separately, the state agency that regulates contractors took away their license back in November Due to dozens of complaints that they received, the company also still faces a civil lawsuit from the Florida Attorney General. Now, if you have a problem that you want the I-Team to investigate, call us at 904-479-NEWS or email us at iteam at newsforjax.com. We have a local...